this video I'm going to show you a couple of different ways to give your users a nice little interface so they can pass date parameters to a query or a report without having to type in the date themselves. And in this example I've got a query that I'm going to run and it's going to require two parameters, a start date and an end date. And if I design this form you'll notice that these, these are text boxes, these two uh, items here or controls are text boxes and each one of them has a specific name. This is named QStart and the end uh, text box is named QEnd. Okay? And the query that I'm going to run after I fill these text boxes with dates is this invoice query and the, uh, the criteria for ship date is between forms, main form, which is the form that my text boxes are on, QStart and forms main form QEnd. So I've referenced my two text boxes in this criteria in a between statement. Okay, so now that we know what we're trying to do here, let's go ahead and do some prep work. Uh, in both of my text boxes, I want to go ahead and make the default value date. Now, what date will do is it'll put today's date in uh, the text box as the, as the default value. And properties, default value, date. Okay? Now that we have that done, let's go ahead and create a couple of little extra buttons. And these are nothing more than command buttons with plus or minus signs as captions. And what I'll do is I'll use these buttons to either add or subtract a day from my default value date. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and right click on the first button which is uh, add to the start date and I'm going to go to properties, go to events, on click. So I'm going to type in me Q start value, which is referencing the, f the current form I'm on, me. Q start is the text box, and I'm ba basically saying the value of Q start is going to equal to date add D1 Q start, which is basically saying I'm going to add one day to Q start. Good. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the subtract button, except a little bit different. And I can copy this, paste it here, and I'm just going to say minus one. Good. And I'll do th the same thing for the report end. Let's test it out. So 12 9, which is today's date, I'm going to add a day. I'm going to subtract days. And it works here too. Good. So now I want to go ahead and give my users a choice whether they want to subtract a day or a month or a year and what I'll do here is I'll create an option group that will give them a choice of year month or day and then when these buttons uh, get pressed it's gonna look at the option group and recognize whether it should be adding a year day or month so let's go ahead and add, do that functionality real quick so I'm gonna bring down my toolbox here and select option group from my selections here and click right on the form and it's going to open up this option group wizard and I'm going to go ahead and use this wizard and to fill in my option group uh, year is one of the options I want month is another one and day is another one and I'm going to hit next and then it's going to ask me do I want a default choice and I'll say default choice is day and then um, I'll go ahead and hit next now take a look at these values. These values are quite important because this is what we're going to use in the code to tell the command buttons uh, which interval they're going to change the start and end date with. So uh, year is 1, month is 2, and day is 3. So we've got to remember that. We're going to hit next and it's going to ask you some you know, formatting uh, preferences. Uh, radio buttons are fine for me. And then we're going to name it uh, the option group. Okay, select adjustment interval is fine, and then we'll hit finish, and it created our option group. Now we're going to do a little bit of formatting. I'm going to make it a horizontal option group here, and right click, uh, align to the bottom, make them all even. And I think we are pretty much done. Uh, now we just got to do a little bit of prep work on the option group. I'll right click on the option group, go to properties, change the name of the option group in the all tab here uh, change the name to Q options or Q option sounds good and now I'm ready to go ahead and adjust the code I'm gonna go ahead and go to the properties of the first button here on click event and I'm gonna add a select case procedure select case me Q option value 
So this is telling Access, hey, listen, we want to test the value of the option group in the current form. And based on the value, uh, we're going to do certain things to the Q start or Q end text boxes. So we're going to go ahead and enumerate through the possible options or possible uh, selections that a user could make in the option group. And in this case, we have three possible selections. So case is equal to 1. Now this is our first possibility. Uh, case is equal to 1. And if you remember, 1 is year. So we're going to go ahead and copy this particular line of code here that we had from uh, previous uh, adjustments or entries. And we're going to go ahead and change this particular variable, D, to YYYY. So this is basically saying, now, if the case is equal 1, we're going to say, that the value of the Q star text is going to equal date add one year. Next possibility is value it could equal two. Value could equal two means that the user selected month. And again, we'll copy paste and we'll change that variable to m for month. Last possibility is equal three and 3 equals day and we've already got day here so we're good. Now we just wrap up this select procedure by saying n select. We got we have to put that and then n sub. Okay. Uh now we have this. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for the rest of our command click uh functions. All right, all the code is in and it's time for some testing here. And when we open up the form, as we stated, the default value of the option group is day. And as you can see, if when we press our buttons, uh, the day goes up and down as an interval. And then month, again, select our buttons and month goes up and down as you can see. So everything's working fine. And lastly, year uh, seems to be working great. And if we run our query, Query runs fine, so everything works great. 